Having the right references for your modeling project is extremely important. Now let's be honest, in the older versions of Blender, this was a little bit more complicated than it should have been. But in the new versions, this is actually very easy. So the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and just type in something like Tiger Tank Blueprint. And then just go over to images. And this is a pretty popular tank, so it's really easy to find a high quality blueprint. Just take the first image and save that. And I'm going to make a new folder, and this is usually where I save all the other references for a modeling project. And we're going to name this one Blueprint. And now just go ahead and open up any image editing software. Before you do anything else, make sure you invert the colors because it's much easier to look at it in Blender. And then I'm just going to use my cropping tool and I'm going to separate some parts of the blueprint. I'm going to take the top, I'm going to paste that into a new image and I'm going to save that separately and name that top. I'm going to select the side. I'm also going to copy that to a new image and save that separately. And then I'm also going to go down and save the front and the back separately. And this way it's a little bit easier to arrange the images in Blender. And once you saved all those, just close the image editor and go back to Blender. And I'm going to hop over to front view and I'm going to hit shift A. I'm going to go to image and I'm going to add a reference. And I just find wherever you save this image and I'm going to open up my front and my back blueprint. Now I'm going to go over to the image settings panel and I'm going to check transparency here. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity just by a little bit. This also makes it a little bit easier to look at the picture while you're working. And then I'm going to scale the image up by two and I'm going to lift it up so that the tank sits on top of the axis. And then I'm just going to move that to the back on the Y axis by about 20 units. And after that, I'm going to add my side image. I'm going to do the same thing with the transparency. And I'm also going to lift this image up a little bit and then move it to the background. And finally, we're going to do the same thing with our top image. So we're going to rotate it so it points in the same direction as the side image. We're going to add some transparency and we're going to scale it up by two. And we're going to pull this one down. And I'm also just quickly going to correct my front image and make sure that the tank is sitting exactly in the middle. Because otherwise, it's not going to be perfectly aligned with some of the other references. And you're pretty much good to go. Now you can start working on your tank. Now guys, if this was helpful and you want to learn a bit more about modeling and animating guns and tanks and stuff like that, please go check out some of my other videos because I think I can help you out with that.